Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this blog video, I wanted to show you something that I thought some of you might find useful. So let's get into it. Okay, I have a website here, and uh, it's great. It basically allows you to create your own custom UV checker maps. Now, some of you that use Ryzen UV, like I do, will find this useful because it means you can create your own and then load these um, images into your unwrapper of choice. Uh, you should be able to do this in Cinema 4D as well, along with many others. So let's just take a quick tour of this and see see what it does. When you first open up the page, it presents you with something like this. You can actually affect the dimensions. So if I uh, crank this up, it'll actually affect how many uh, squares are present in our texture. So you can adjust this. You've also got a corner radius here as well. So you can you can put this right up so you've got circles instead of squares so let's um let's do that actually you've got border thickness as well if i turn this up you'll notice that each of these uh what were squares and now circles but the it's got a border around them and you can also choose the border opacity so you can either have zero border or visible border or you can crank it up till it's fully opaque uh, the border color obviously that's self-explanatory um will change the color of the border Let's make it something a bit better to look at. Okay, black's fine. Obviously, the border color will not have no impact whatsoever if you've got zero border thickness or your opacity is all the way down. Uh, it's tantamount to having it off. And then you've got the background color as well. And you probably won't realize anything's happening if you've got your corner radius all the way down like this, because if I change this background color to a red now, it appears nothing has happened, and it's because the background color is uh, what's behind everything. So if you put your corner radius up, that's what's displayed behind that. We've uh, also got some settings for the microgrid as well. Uh, you should be able to see some small squares on screen, uh, this grid that runs through the texture. So we can turn up the opacity so it makes it more bold, or you can turn it off completely. You've also got the frequency of this um, microgrid as well. So if I turn this down, you'll notice that um, we can actually turn it down so there's less subdivisions of that grid. And we can also grab that and move it all the way up. And then we've got the color of the grid itself as well. So you can actually have this black if you wanted to. And then we could um, turn the opacity up and all the rest of it. We've also got some settings for text. This is the actual text within each of the grid spaces. Um, you get a few choices of uh, font family. So you can choose whatever one of them you prefer. And you've got uh, color choices as well. Actually, before I move on, I should say that we can choose how big they are, if they fill the entire grid square or not. And you can also choose their weight as well. So you can turn this up and down, which is a nice little touch as well. You've also got some uh, settings for this color as well. So you can either have them all white, all of them black, or you've got this contrast. and. I should imagine the way this is working is if you have a color that is over a certain luminance value, these um, the letters will be black. And if it's under that uh, luminance threshold, your text will be white. So I usually leave on that, actually. And you can choose whether you want to display letters and numbers or just numbers or just letters. And there you go. If you look at the right hand side of the page, you get a uh, palette so you can pick and choose if I uh, if I actually refresh this page and click normals, this is what it's on by default. Rainbow Road is just another set of um, colors and same with Valhalla and uh, Gambit. I thought you were cool. That's awful. <laughs> or you can have a custom one as well. So if we, um, if I select this red here and uh, oh, these are RGB values, it's, it'd be good if they, they, oh, there we go. We can actually Yes, so you can actually have X values. You can um, you can flip between RGB, uh, hue saturation and uh, lightness, and a hex value. So let's um, so that's my first color. Going to my second color. Oh, don't want to do that. Let's get back to hex. Let's do that again. So we've got a starting point. I can make this slightly lighter, something like this. And you can just go along and change these to your heart is content. So let's choose something even lighter, like an off-white. 
There we go. So you get the idea. You can go through and change all this kind of stuff as well. And then once you're done with your map, um, let's get it back to normal. Uh, you can download it. So you can either download a 1K map, 2K, 4K, right up to 8K, which is great. So let's grab a 4K one. It'll open up a dialogue and say, do you want to save it on your computer? And then you can, um, you know, save it wherever you want to save it. And then you can import it into your UV mapper of choice. You should note there's a donate button here. And uh, I suggest that you chuck a couple of pennies in the um, in the pot for the guy. Oh, by the way, that's another thing. It's uh, developed by this guy. His name's up here. Now, I'm guessing... That his name is actually Spanish. It's Jorge Valle, I think. When I initially read that, I thought, oh, George Valley. <laughs> but it's obviously not. I think he, I think he's Spanish. Anyway, if you scroll down, we've got some presets and favorites here as well. Um, so you can load these in. Um, so it's just a really, really helpful site, really, guys. Um, you can make your own maps, download them, get them into your, uh, your UV mapper of choice. So I hope that helps you out and I'll see you in the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.